When I was a child, I discovered to my delight that I could visualize anything I imagined. I could see and understand the inner workings of everything. The molecular interactions. I could see energy in the air. I needed no diagrams, no models. I knew with this ability I could create great and wondrous inventions. Devices to solve all of the world's problems. All. Hunger. War. Everything. Simply by making energy and communications readily available to everyone. I could do this. You know, I have always believed that I have been led to evolve beyond my species. I am the next step of mankind. Electricity is composed of two factors. The amount of energy, which we call the current, and the voltage, which is the force that pushes this energy through wires and cables and various devices. But these things resist the voltage and eventually reduce the current to nothing. So I must beg the forgiveness of Mr. Edison, your wizard of electricity, but his system of direct current is only capable of producing low voltages. Mr. Edison's power plants can only provide current for one mile in any direction. This system requires a coal burning generating station every two miles. Our planet in no time will be choked to death. Gentlemen, we need a system capable of producing millions of volts. We need an alternative form of electricity, an alternating current. I have devised a complete system. Generators, motors, transformers. Everything we need to bring our civilization into the future. George Westinghouse understood completely. We made a deal. Thomas Edison, my former employer, he went to great lengths to frighten everybody away from my alternating current system. He killed all sorts of animals with my currents. What an unbelievable bastard. But I showed them. One million volts. Look, I live. I have not been Westinghouse. My currents can be domesticated. Tamed like the beast of the jungle. My currents will be your servants. My dream. It was all coming to life. Westinghouse installed my great polyface system at Niagara Falls. Clean energy for all. In the end, it was a bad deal. I never received any royalties. Inventor always receives a royalty. I am a bad businessman. I hate it. I hate business. I never 
ever cared about the money. Only for my experiments, nothing more. But yes, I lived a high life for a while. Had some friends. And yes, there was a woman, the divine Catherine Johnson. She loved me until her dying day, letters soaked with tears. Dearest Mr. Tesla. But I could not. <laughs> I dare say, Monsieur Tesla, you are quite the charmer. Tell me, why is it the most eligible bachelor in North New York has not yet found a suitable paramour? Well, my dear, it is uh, quite simple, actually. You see, an inventor by nature has a wild and passionate quality. So when he uh, gives himself to a woman, he must give himself completely. Thus taking everything from his noble pursuits. And therefore, uh, it is impossible. She was the wife of my best friend. I was to stay celibate forever. Besides, I... I hated to touch the hair of other people. Heinrich Hertz discovered the first radio spark. But a radio wave is useless unless you can tune it into a carrier frequency. I invented this. I made wireless communication work. My invention. And Marconi, that thieving donkey, he stole my patents. He got rich. His name is in the school books. I spent decades in court over this. But never mind. I had bigger ideas. Better ideas. But my greatest of all ideas. The transmission of electrical power without wires. Imagine a world with no wires. Imagine no need for batteries of any sort. Imagine powering your home, your automobile, with a cheap and simple receiver, the size of a, a bread basket. No fossil fuels consumed, no smoke choking up our skies, no wires to obscure our view. I could do this. The great Commodore J.P. Morgan provided the financing for my world wireless tower on Long Island. It was coming to pass. Get out, Tess. All I needed was just a few, a few more tests. Pocket change to a man of your Damn it, Tess, please. Wireless electricity for the world, and all one needs is a cheap little device to receive it. How do you charge people for that? There's no goddamn profit in it, you vainglorious idiot. You are above that. Oh, yeah, please, Commodore, shit. this is beyond profit. I am tired of you and your visionary dreams and your naive prattle. So, leave my office now. But sir, this is for the benefit of all Out. humankind. Out! Out! He conspired with all the millionaires of New York. Suddenly, no one wanted anything more to do with me. Blind, faint-hearted, doubting world. Dearest Mr. Tesla, why must it be such a lonely battle for you? Surely the warmth of consoling friends would help rather than hinder. Please, please do come. to 
of some small-minded and jealous individuals the satisfaction of having thwarted my efforts. These men are nothing more to me than microbes of a nasty disease. every nation equips themselves with this, not one would dare fire the first shot. I had made uh, appointments to unveil this at the World Peace Conference in Geneva. Housekeeping, Mr. Tesla. Mr. Tesla? But my time had come to an end before my dream could become fully realized. They sent government agents to raid my apartment. I feel like Faust. Not because I sold my soul, but because I was blind to the true desires of Mephistopheles. But I am satisfied. I had done what I could, and no more. 